All right, for this recipe, I'm gonna make use of these two apples I've had in my refrigerator for about eight goddamn weeks. First, I'm gonna cut these apples in half. Now, this step can be done second if it's easier. I'd like to peel my, my apples before I cut them, or I mean after I cut them, but some people like to do it before. Um, next, just go ahead and pluck the seeds out. I'm plucking the seeds out versus coring the apple because I wanna keep as much of the apple intact and to save as much apple. I'm being cheap as hell. I have two apples, so I gotta make this shit stretch. Just go ahead and cut the apples any way you like. Now, some people like them really, really small. So other people like them in whole ass slices. Personally, me, I like it around a medium, a medium dice. You know, small, a medium small, if that's a real, that's a real size. That's pretty much where I like it at. All right, so now we're gonna start our brown butter. And in our brown butter, pretty much, it's exactly how it sounds, browned butter, which is, you know, just letting the butter cook a little while, get a little bit brown before you add in the apples. Once you go ahead and add all the apples in there, that smell of apples and butter is fucking amazing. Now, just go ahead and toss all of your apples in the butter, and it really does come out fucking amazing when you do that. Um, you want to make sure each and every one is completely coated and smelling amazing. Now we're going to start our spice blend. Add a tablespoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a teaspoon of allspice. Just go ahead and mix that up because we're going to add this into the apples. Alright, now that we got our spice, spice blend ready, um, go ahead and add that to the top like that and just mix it up. Do the same thing you did with the butter. Make sure each and every apple is coated. You don't wanna miss a bite in this. Like, it's very important to be very particular and, you know. We're gonna add some water. Um, we're gonna add water at multiple stages um, of this recipe because it's kinda of gonna make like a, a syrupy sauce. some more water once that water kind of evaporates a little bit this is to help the apples soften up as well now I added a fourth cup of brown sugar and you know this is for sweetness then you can add white sugar but let's be realistic like it's gonna taste way better with fucking brown sugar everything brown this is a brown skin recipe this is a very brown skin recipe so this is what we doing today all right Now, the sauce should start kind of thickening up on its own, but add a tablespoon, or a, fuck, a teaspoon of vanilla, um, and also, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cornstarch. Now, this is the wrong way to add cornstarch to a recipe. You should have probably added it to the water and then mixed it up, but I was just being a dumbass, so this is how you save it. Add some hot water, some warm water to it, and pretty much, we're gonna stir this vigorously so we can be able to get rid of the clumps. You don't want any clumps in it. That's nasty as hell. But the cornstarch is to thicken up the mixture like that. So now you're gonna have almost like a, I don't know, it's almost like the fucking inside of a, mic, a mic pie or whatever the fuck they call it. So now I have this leftover pie dough from my last fucking recipe. Um, and I decided to use it and I'm gonna roll it back out. I don't waste shit in my kitchen. Um, I don't know if y'all waste shit in y'all kitchen, but I don't really waste shit. Like, if I have some leftover scraps, even the tips to, like, chicken wings, I save them. But, yeah, go ahead and take a glass um, or whatever you got that's maybe a circle. I'm using a glass because that's just about the right size for what I need for my uh, for my, uh, for my my um, little muffin tin I got. And I don't know why the hell I cut out seven. That was pretty stupid because I only have a six-thing muffin tin, but it's whatever. So I guess I did waste something today. Yeah, and then pretty much inside of a greased muffin tin. Uh, now I emphasize grease, and I take you know some sp spray some Pam or something in there. Just go ahead and stuff your uh, your pie down there. Oh, and for, what I forgot to tell you guys is that I poke them with a the fork so they don't rise in the oven. Next, we're gonna prepare our cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, that's exactly what you do. Just put them in a damn plastic bag and beat them. Beat them like a, uh, you know, like you want to beat your baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? And go ahead and put your apple filling inside. Now I did put the pie dough in the oven for about 10 minutes just to get it looking nice. 
pretty much that's how it goes. And then I add some of that beautiful, delicious cinnamon toast crunch to the top of these pies. Um, it's not done yet. We're gonna put it back in the oven for about another 15 minutes. After that, it should come out nice and golden brown and amazing. Like, these things are fucking delicious. I'm not even joking with you, like, they're, they're amazing. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's something about these things that are awesome. Yeah, and after you do that, you should have this little mini tart. I'm gonna put that back, it's a little too fucking hot. 